What's going on, y'all? Rico channel. Basically, this is Honda transmission problems here 101. Basically, anybody that has a Honda with a V6 and is having transmission problems, like all of a sudden you're going up on a hill and the vehicle starts like losing uh, grip, more than likely the fluid is really hot. Pull over to the side, turn the vehicle off, make sure you have transmission oil, let it cool off, turn it on. Nine, nine times out of ten, after you let it cool off for like ten minutes, the, the, the transmission will engage again. What's happening is the, 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 the fluid is so hot that it loses its grip. So especially for Hondas that got Hondas between 99 and 2004, five going up on hills v6 especially because the v6 seems to put out a lot of power transmissions are having difficulty i heard a lot of people say that they could add a, a extra cooling kit i did that it don't help um a lot of people say change the oil uh, i would recommend to change the oil if anything pour some of it out and add a lucas in it because sometimes you have particles in your oil that helps those pads inside grip and make the changes necessary. Now, the reason I got this out is because a lot of times I try to explain people that there's these little nets in here that a lot of times they get clocked up and they're not allowing the fluid to travel properly. So it's not allowing the transmission to shift properly. So, you know, take these out. If you find these nets clocked, clean them put it back in keep taking it out every two weeks until you get no more particles now you have to remember this is very important on these v6 older honda models when you're going up the hill and you have your car stacked up go nice and easy that's like if you was running up the hill and you got all your kids on your back the more weight the harder it is to get up the hill. If you had no weight, you'll be easily going up the hill. The same goes with a vehicle. The more weight you put on a vehicle, the harder it has to work. And then this might be clocked up. So that is now allowing fluid to flow properly. That's like saying you have a clocked up vein and, 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 and blood is not flowing properly. Very important for transmission fluid has to flow properly very important for transmission it cannot overheat if you have a honda that when it gets hot it slip if i was you i will add uh a uh, cooling or uh, a cooling um not a cooling a transmission cooler and a little bit of lucas so it could straighten lucas straightens your fluid so you know there's a lot of things you could do to save time. I got another video on the code P740, P730. But these things will only help if you're having these kind of symptoms. If you're driving and your vehicle runs perfectly fine, you turn it on, you put it in drive, it engages properly, it feels strong. That nine out of ten, you have you still have a good transmission. The problem becomes when the fluid gets hot, when you be in the car, it could be 90 degrees outside. You could be going up the hill with a fully loaded car. That transmission is screaming. You might not hear it, but it's screaming. You have to take care of your car. If your car, if you, now, if you put it on drive and from get go, it don't engage right away, you having a serious transmission problem. And don't waste your money. Don't take it to Amco. Change these parts. Change oil. Do a flush. You're going to waste your money. If you listen to me, guys, if you turn your Honda on, right? And from the get go, the Honda, you put it on drive and it doesn't want to engage and you hit it gas and then you feel like it engaged, your transmission is gone. If you put it in drive and it takes off, but it only slips 
sometimes, like when it's really hot, your transmission is not bad, but then you could be having like your your there's little clutches inside. They could start being they could start wearing out. Your fluid could be real thin. You could be low fluid. You could have clacked up nets, so the shifting is not shifting properly. It's just a couple things that you know through the time you learn. You know, I, I wish you could just watch this video and learn. But the best thing I could tell you is go take these out and look at them. Look at your oil. Smell it. If it smells burnt, that's another sign. So, you know, for any Honda V6 with transmission problems, but not when you park. Only when you're going up a hill, like you feel like all of a sudden it, it lost the gear and you put it on two and it grabs. It could be one of these guys. It could be one of these nets that they clocked up it could be your fluid is too thin it could be a vi uh, a, a few things so you know this, i just made a quick video i haven't made one in a while i figure i made a honda one any questions please hit me in the comment have a good day boys